the lovely scene. And the mast, forward mast. Forward mast is, uh, you can see the lights there, the anchor light, the whistle. Behind it, this is this is what you call breakwater. This is the breakwater. The purpose of this is to reduce or to break the waves once it uh, and uh, that could cause damage to the containers. So this is a very important part and a very it has a very strong structural uh, integrity. Because it will uh, reduce the the force that uh, hits on the containers. You see how they lash it. We passed from the other side and exited here. It's a mushroom ventilation for the cargo hold. are tank containers, dangerous cargo container, hydrogen peroxide. We are also carrying dangerous cargo. And they are stored following the IMO guidelines for uh, carriage of containers. <coughs> so there are rules to that, segregation, Stowage, proper stowage. We have to use the IMDG code. This we have on the starboard, uh, on the port side, uh, the same life raft, same type, and here on starboard side we also have same life raft. It's quite heavy, but. We are on the starboard side or the right side of the ship. Look how beautiful the weather. Go to the F station. So, on board, say continuous maintenance for the crew at sea and in port. Uh, they are uh, watching the cargoes. Call it port watch to monitor the cargoes loaded and discharged and make sure that they are properly lashed. You can see here how the twist locks are used. Okay, as we go along, we are still here on the starboard side of the ship and that is the forward part going to the forecastle area which is, uh, we were there a while ago. Now we are continuing towards the aft station. So these markings indicates uh, positions. So we call it bay, bay 35. And the forward is bay 31. No, sorry, bay 33 on the forward, bay 34, which is covering the both for 40 footers. It's confusing, but once you are in container ship, you'll get used to it. You will understand how to read the, the container uh, positions. So that means if it's a 40-footer, we use even numbers. If 
it's a 20 footer we use odd numbers okay so this is another uh, combination ladder for the pilot hindi pa ito yung gangway namin this is not the accommodation ladder it's only the combination ladder it's used for only for embarking and disembarking of pilots as for the crew or the gangway it is located on the accommodation area you hear the noise these are the reefers that are running refrigerated cargoes so we load refrigerated cargoes from all, all ports, almost all ports. So here, this is the accommodation. This is the, I don't know if you can see it from here. That is the ship's accommodation. So this is the gangway. This is the main access going to the accommodation from from the port from the berth so now we are back to the aft of accommodation and that is the crane for lifting heavy materials so now we are already on the aft of accommodation we have four 40 footer containers lined up going to the aft so we are already on bay 61 62 63 that's bay 65 66 and 67 okay, and the last is this is bay 70 these are only for 40 footer containers because underneath is uh, the aft station so you cannot stow a 20 footer here so this is considered only as base 70 or the even number so now let's go down snap bag zone what does it mean meaning a dangerous area you have to watch your positions you can see you cannot load a 20 footer the noise is coming from the steering so it has a different uh, it's almost the same with the forecastle area for the forward the winches are the same but the arrangement is a little bit different This is a ventilation and also a passage for the ropes. We have to store the ropes and pass to them. See, there is a. These are the bits, but there is an extension for lock for locking it. And these are the fair leads also, where the line passes. Same here. We are steaming only on half a head. That is why the the propeller wash is not that strong. Mahina la takbo. But if we go on full, the propeller wash could reach up to one ship's length, 200 meters. Bago matapos yung bula, even more. So mooring lines, a different color, orange. Okay. So 
now we go to the middle part where you can see the lifeboat the lifeboat is here in case of emergency and the vessel could no longer hold if she really will go down then we will be forced to use this lifeboat as temporary vessel and uh, wait until being rescued so as a rule just uh, never leave the vessel until the vessel leaves you the safest place is always the ship and it's my duty as a captain to decide whether the vessel is still safe or not. In my 20 years career as a seaman, well, thank God I never had such accident. With the protection of our Lord. Okay, so we're done here. accommodation area right now I just walk you all through through the deck space covers 294 meters on one length we almost cover one kilometer with just one round you can imagine how big it is and many containers now are even 400 meters length 400 meters in length so you can imagine how big it is with just a small number of crew that is even the same as what we have here we have 25 crew capacity and for the big vessels now big containers that could carry around 20,000 22,000 containers they only have a 30 25 to 30 number of crew for us this is already a, a good size container she can travel worldwide and she has a very good stability you have all the things that you need here the speed the power she has a very powerful engine the the size is quite good and her maneuvering characteristics impressive she can turn very quickly because of her the size of her propeller and the power from the main engine a lot of new vessels now are big in size but the power is less that's a skylight ventilation We're back to the accommodation entrance. Hey okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.